Now let's see how the layer method is done for the income approach. So let's say a property that you're renting now has uh, two more year years remaining on the contract and the rental is 180,000 per year at the moment for the next two years. So we have 180,000 here and for year two is 180,000. Okay, and then uh, we estimate that after the rent review from year three onwards, okay, the rent will go up to 230,000. So that means there is an incremental 50,000 over the first rent. So what we'll normally do is under the layer method, for the layer method, okay, we'll be using a discount uh, a rate of 6% for the term rent, which is 180,000, and then the incremental rent will be discounted at 8%. So we'll maintain the best rent here, or the term rent of 180,000 to perpetuity, okay, and for the incremental rent uh, starting from year 3 onwards, we'll add it on top of the, uh, the term rent, so that's 50,000 here in perpetuity. So that goes on forever. So what we'll do is under the layer method, we will PV these two streams of rentals separately as a perpetuity. So for the term rent, okay, for the term rent, we'll PV this 180,000 back to year zero. Okay, so that will be 180,000 divided by the cap rate, which is 6%, uh, the lower rate. Right, so that gives us 180,000 divided by 0 0.06. So that's $3 million okay, for the term rent portion. All right, and then for the second, uh, the incremental rent here, this is from year, the perpetuity starts from year three onwards. So if I take uh, 50,000 divided by 8%, that would bring the PV back to year two. Okay, so the value here in year two would be 50,000 incremental rent divided by 8%. So the value in year two will uh, 50,000, 50,000 divided by 0 0.08, so that's 625,000. Now this amount will then need to be discounted back to year zero as well. So the second layer, so this is the layer one. Then for layer two, which is the incremental layer, we'll take 625,000, discount it back at 8% for two years. So that would be equals to, so that would be 625,000 divided by 1.08 to the power of 2. So that's 535,837 dollars. So the total value of the property here would be 3.5 million. Okay, so this is the value of the property.